Hey guys, it's me Bonham from Carl Suppers and today I'm going to show you how to make ginger and shiitake noodles. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a really quick and easy recipe that takes under 20 minutes and it's great for a quick lunch. I have used noodles but you can also use rice if you don't have any noodles to hand. Let's have a look at the ingredients. I've used about 100 grams of shiitake mushrooms, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of maple syrup, 2 teaspoons of mirin or rice vinegar, 2 inches of ginger grated, you can use more if you like it a little bit more gingery, half a teaspoon of red chilli flakes, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil along with 1 teaspoon of sunflower oil, 2 teaspoons of corn flour, half a cup of water, salt to taste and as I mentioned noodles or rice. This does make about one serving so just double it for make it for more. Going to get started with the sauce first. So grab a bowl and add the soy sauce, grated ginger, maple syrup, mirin, chilli flakes and a sprinkle of salt and remember the soy sauce is going to be quite salty so taste and then add the salt and now give it all a really good mix then you want to put this on the side because we're going to cook our mushrooms first i'm using a frying pan but if you have a wok you can use that place it on medium heat and add the oil once the oil is ready we're going to add the mushrooms i have sliced these as you can see long ways Allow these to cook until they're soft and lightly golden. It shouldn't take too long because shiitake mushrooms cook quite quickly. If you don't have shiitake mushrooms to hand, you can use another variety of mushrooms. Now you want to add the soy sauce and ginger mixture to this, making sure that it's mixed through all of the mushrooms. Give this a few minutes to cook, roughly I'd say around five. Whilst that's cooking, in a bowl you want to add the corn flour and water and give it a bit of a mix so that there's no lumps. Add the corn flour to the mushrooms and give it a really good mix. You want the sauce to have a nice smooth consistency. If you want to make it more runny, you can add a little bit more water and if you want a thicker sauce, you can add another teaspoon of corn flour. Once you've added the corn flour, let it cook for a further five minutes. It doesn't really need too long. I finished off with another half a teaspoon of mirin. Once that's incorporated, I've turned off the heat. And you want to eat this really warm, so we're ready to serve. In a bowl, I've added my noodles, which I'm topping up with the mushroom and ginger sauce. And I'm going to make sure I've got all of the lovely liquid. I'm going to finish with a sprinkle of black sesame seeds. And for freshness, you can either add chopped green onion or I've used coriander stems. Enjoy immediately. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you on the next video.